Here we are at the school website on the fifth grade. We're going to click on the Weebly logo. Brings us to the login page. Passwords were sent out earlier in the month. We were sent home. If you forgot your username or your password, at the end of the video, I'll talk about how you could contact me to get your password. So here's the username and password. We're going to log in. The next page, we already set it up in class, but just to review, they're going to ask you for a URL. Okay, the URL is like www.yankees.com. For the students, it's going to be 20, your first name and your last name, .weebly.com. So you're going to click, and you put in 20, your first name and your last name at weebly.com. And this is a private website. Only you and me can see it. Later on, I'll give you a second password so you can watch it. We spoke about this part. You can change it where it says my site. You can say, uh, you put your name. And you can say, you know, so-and-so site on Mexico. Last year we did it on the Mayans. This year you're going to do it on Mexico. Then where it says click to edit, you can say welcome to my site. And that's the basics of getting the titles in. Now we're going to discuss adding elements to our website. You see I clicked on the build tab on the top left. I clicked on build. And now I'm going to start dragging those things over to my website. So we see I have text and I have a title, and I have images, so I'm going to pick what I want, and I drag it over there. I can even do a slideshow if I wanted. So here I dragged in uh, for a paragraph, and now I could type my research into my website. And you see that we have, we could uh, change our size with the plus or lower it by the minus, and the A changes your color. And you just like you would in Microsoft Word. And there's the title if I want to add a title. To add a photo, there's a few things I'm going to think about. Okay, so the, I'm going to add that little block in that said image, I'm gonna, and then I'm going to click it. And if I click on the search, I could search for an image, but you're not going to get great images this way. You only get a few images. So rather than doing it that way, I'm going to really suggest that you're going to click on my computer and upload an image. So now we're going to talk about how to save an image. Now we're going to discuss how to save an image. Let's say I was on one of these websites and I wanted to use their image on my Weebly website. What I would do is I would find the image. So let's say I like this map and I'm going to go right click and I'm going to do save image as right click. I'll show everybody again. Right click, save image as and then I'm going to put where I want to do it and I'm going to put it on the desktop because I want it to be easy to find. You could put this in documents or download but I would suggest desktop because it's easier to find. I'm using a Mac uh, and a Windows is going to be on the left side and the same thing you're going to use you're going to click on desktop and I'm going to put in Mexico map or whatever I want it to call me and I'm going to save it. Now when I go to my Weebly website I'm going to click upload. So now I want to add an image to my website. I'm going to go to build and I'm going to drag my image down here and now I need to upload my image. So I'm going to click over here. And you could do a few things here. The first thing you could do is you could just take the image from your desktop or wherever you had it and just drag the image in like that. Okay, so you could do that. Or what you could do is you can go upload from your computer. So either way works. You, let's say it's upload from your computer. I go upload from my computer. And I have to find, let's say, Mexico map here. I go to Mexico map. Right, so you see I have all my files here and I gotta find the one that has Mexico map. I click open and now I have my image up and if I want to I could go like this and then nice and small or big, whatever you want to do with your image and if you don't like this image you can you can exit out like this. So if, if you don't want to use it you just click like this and you get rid of your image. We're going to need multiple pages on our website to divide our content. So I'm going to go and click on pages on the top. You, click, you see I have pages right there on the top. I click pages and I'm going to click the plus because we were on the home page. Now we click a plus and a standard page, plus and standard page. And then you're going to name your page, whatever you want to call it. Last year we had a different topic when I made this video, but now you're going to put whatever you want to call it, maybe culture, history, etc. And just like you did on the first page, you have to put a title in there and you're going to start dragging your elements in to the bottom to um, fill out your information and your photos and whatnot. So just as you did on the first page, you're going to have to drag your elements, change your title, all those type of things. Each page is going to need that. If you want to, 
you can go and you could add another page with the plus and then another standard page and you as you can see under my site you see under my site we have home and then we have two other pages we keep adding our pages to our website so we're going to divide our website so that it looks better and better and our content is mixed up in the appropriate section and then here I was doing social structure last year in daily life and that was going to be a page on social structure in daily life and then you go back to build and you could start adding in your elements again if you want to add in a photo or if you want to add in your information you can drag them down there and once again you can type in and you could change your, your uh, size or you could add a, a photo last thing I wanted to say if you get stuck, there's a few things you can do. The first thing you could do is you could send me a class comment. A class comment is public and everybody can see it. However, some teachers are turning off class comments. So if you have class comments, you can send me a comment. Everyone will see it and I can respond to it. However, your teacher may turn it off. Some teachers want it turned off. If it's turned off for you, you could send me a private comment, okay? Private comments on the right. Send me a private comment, and I can get back to you. The other thing you can do is you can email me. I put my email in the assignment, and I'll get back to you that way. So there's a few different ways that you can contact me. I will continually update resources for the website. I'll continually add things to the assignment based on what people are asking me, based on what support I see that children need. And last thing I want to mention, just to reinforce again, the password is PS221Q Google. Everybody has their own unique username. So contact me if you need your username.